Hey guys, I've been adventuring out of this Tacoma for two years now. Over those two years, I've documented most of the experience made adventure style videos. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but I know a lot of people kind of miss those videos and I have a lot on my channel. Some of them are titled not adventure titles. So I figured I'd do a whole video where I combine all my adventure videos in a series. So it's on my channel and you can watch it and kind of binge it. it might be about two hours long. I hope you enjoy it and let's get this started. So we're out camping again on a little bit of an overland adventure. This is a two day trip. So we're gonna be making a bunch of content. I have a bunch of stuff planned and then I'm gonna be recording the full trip like I am right now. But right now we got the tent set up. I was a little bit too busy to record while I was doing it. The whole campsite set up right now. I'll do a pan around and show you guys that real quick. And we're gonna start making some food. We're making my favorite camp food. We're making tacos. I'm gonna show you the recipe I use. It's pretty basic, but if you're interested, and you're just gonna camp with us tonight. Should be a good time, let's go. So this is the full setup of the camping spot tonight. I got the hammock set up between that tree and the bed rack. Got the tent set up, the fire pit right there. Chairs, nice picnic table. And we're all set up for the first night here. Pretty awesome uh, opening here. Can't really see too much, but should be good. And uh, I'm gonna get to cooking now. All right guys, I'm trying to cook up tacos, but it's supposed to rain. As always, I'm in a hurry. So I'm gonna to try to hurry this up, try to make tacos as fast as I can, get stuff kind of picked up so when it rains, it doesn't break some stuff. So we're gonna see what I can do, but we're probably gonna be stuck in the tent all night. Let's go. Making some tacos. I have a headlamp on. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, so it started raining. We're coming in the tent. I got the Nintendo Switch. We're gonna chill out here and uh, hang out while it rains all night. Good morning, guys. We had a rough night last night. It was raining. I hope you can hear it in the clip I took, but it was raining pretty good. Thunderstorm all the way up until about five four in the morning then in the middle of the big storm our dog threw up on ashley's pillow so that was also a really good time to clean up in the pouring rain other than that the tent stayed pretty dry no wetness got in we actually had the windows opened up to get a nice breeze in and none of the rain blew in because of the way the rain flies are so now i'm going to get some breakfast cooked up we got to be out of this spot by 12 so we're going to get breakfast hang out hopefully everything dries up enough right now i'm gonna make some breakfast probably do a breakfast burrito some eggs and sausage then get everything packed up and ready if it dries out and then i do some overlanding and get ready to go to the next spot Breakfast is done. We got it all cleaned up. Dishes done. It's about 11 o'clock now. We're gonna get this tent put away. It's a little bit wet, but we're gonna open it up in about two hours or so after we're done adventuring a little bit. And then we're gonna drive around a good bit, see what we're working with in this forest. I know there's some cool overlooks I wanna check out. You're gonna come with me. I might put the drone in the air, do some cool shots. Should be pretty cool. Let's hit it.
near me right now because of the wind. But this was the main goal of the trip is I wanted to find this spot because this is amazing. I don't know if I even took enough content to show you how good this looks. I put the drone in the air. It looks so cool. The truck's up here. We thought about camping here. It's not on our list of camp spots, but I feel like people have camped here before. So we might come back and camp here one of these nights. But this spot's amazing. There's nobody around for miles. This is just so chill. And the truck did great. Loving every part of this trip. I'm actually on my phone right now because the camera and the mic will pick up the wind a little bit too much. This is probably picking up the wind a little bit too much as well. But as best I got right now is the phone because the camera, it's just not going to work very good for this location. So as you can see, we're out here and uh, we made it to like the peak spot that I wanted to make it to on this trip. So now we're going to continue on kind of driving around, probably stop for lunch pretty soon. I know I have, I want to have Ashley try a MR, an MRE for the first time. So that should be fun. So we're going to do that, continue around. We're probably just going to hang out here for a little while and just enjoy the view because it's just us and this view is awesome. So this was the main journey for this trip. Uh, this is Bald Eagle and this is like the best view in Bald Eagle, I think. I've only been here once and this is awesome. been traveling around this whole forest right now all kind of cool stuff we saw we've passed this like bar and I don't know about you guys but I like a nice drink so before we go to the camp spot we're gonna stop here and see what's going on at this bar looks really cool maybe grab some food like chicken wings or something take it back to the camp spot it's really close like 10 minutes away from the camp spot should be awesome I'm hyped all right we're pulling up in right now See what this is all about. It was popping yesterday. Dude, we just got done eating. That was honestly probably one of the best meals I've had in this random bar in the middle of the forest, uh, the state forest. Really good stuff. I got wings, a burger, french fries. I actually got wings and french fries. Honestly, a 10 out of 10. We're on our way now to the camp spot. We're gonna chill out for the rest of the night. Now I don't have to cook dinner tonight, so that's awesome. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna tear up the back roads here and try to get to our camping spot because I don't exactly know where it's at. So let's go. So we just found a, a spot that we're camping in tonight. Seems like I'm gonna have to do some redneck engineering because it seems like all this is kind of on a little bit of a hill. We'll see what I can do here. Guys, a little camp hack here to get this as flat as I possibly can because the train's pretty uh, lopsided here. I just put some rocks up and drove up on them. They kind of flatten the suspension out. Should be good enough. Okay, so there's a little path that takes us down into the, by the little creek down here. We're gonna take it, see what's up. I bet you this is a lot colder than the dam. Oh, definitely. All right guys, so this is the camp spot tonight all uh, All set up. I got the hammock over there Picnic table all the stuff is out tent set up still a little bit wet from last night's storm Dogs there. We already got the fire going Kind of in a rush tonight. Not really, but we just kind of want to relax So the camera didn't come out while we were trying to set everything up Yeah, we're uh, filming a little bit here and there and just have a chill night what do you think about my camp setup? Do you have any recommendations for camp gear that I could add to my setup? I'm pretty happy with how everything is right now, but you know, I'm always looking at different gear. So what do you guys recommend for gear? I always like to try different stuff. But if you're liking my setup, let me know in the comments. It'd be awesome. And let me know in the comments if you're liking these kind of camping overland videos. I'm just now kind of starting to get good with the camera and trying to film all these different stuff while we're out. And it's kind of hard because I'm filming and doing so it's hard to drive the truck so I'm, I'm practicing but let me know what you guys think about this kind of video so I actually fell asleep over there in the hammock I'm just chilling doing some editing for uh, the video having a beer chilling by the fire just hanging out doing some editing and listen to the nice wood sound pretty cool I put the headlamp on now but yeah Ashley's awake 
But while I was just getting my camera out to record this, we just heard some noises, uh, like a bear or something. Pretty heavy, just fell. We got some leaves down over there. Good morning, guys. We just got up. Uh, we woke up a little bit late. I had the alarm set for 8, and it's uh, 10.30 when we woke up. Felt good sleeping in. This is a pretty nice camp spot. The only thing that was annoying last night were the cool trucks driving by. Uh, they drove by. They seem to be driving by between 6 and 6 during the weekday. So since we're here during the weekday, it was kind of annoying to hear that. Other than that, yeah, I have no complaints about this spot. Had an awesome night last night. Overslept a little bit. So we're probably going to skip breakfast today because we overslept. Uh, we have to be out of here by 12 for the next people to come in. So we're going to clean everything up, pack up, and leave. Uh, we're in West Virginia now. Sun's coming out. It's about 6 o'clock, so we've been trucking for two hours. As you expected, the truck's doing great. No problems there. My back doesn't hurt. Everything's cool. Nice little sunrise behind us. I'll keep you guys updated. Let's go. Hey, right, we're about all the way through Virginia right now. Traffic's not too bad. Truck, obviously, still doing fantastic. I did have to fill up, so the, the trip was about uh, 530 something miles and I had to fill up at the halfway. Uh, I averaged about 17.2 on the way down here so that's better than what I usually do. So almost North Carolina. Everything's still going good. See you in North Carolina. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. Check out that view behind me. We're on the bridge right now to the Outer Banks, so we're like right there. Truck did good. My back kind of hurts. We've been driving straight for about eight hours now, but totally worth it. Check out this view. Pretty amazing. All right, guys, we made it to this awesome hot dog place. They have great corn dogs. It's actually pretty famous. So we're pretty hungry. Eight-hour drive. We want to go and get hot dogs, corn dogs, and eat. So we're going to put the truck out on the beach here. I just aired down about 17 pounds in the Falcon Wild Peaks. 
see how it goes. Hopefully nothing blows out the bead. I'm not even in four wheel drive right now. Here we go. <laughs> Look, this is so much Where more peaceful. Go? Let's right. go to the right. Yeah, let's go to that open spot. Oh my gosh, this is easy. I'm so excited. Oh my god, we're on the beach. Wait, okay. Hey guys, the wind's pretty loud here, but we're in our camp spot for tonight out here in the beach and we're in a campground. Between you and me, this is not it. Everyone's so compact and I can hear a generator and it's, it's not really camping for me. But being in the Outer Banks, there's not really many good places to camp and I didn't want to go take the ferry. It would add four hours to our trip and so this is what we're going to deal with. Ash, let's do a pan real quick, Ash. We have two booster packs for Pokemon. If you know anything about Pokemon, it's pretty awesome. We're up here in the tent. So we have a Battle Styles booster pack here and a Chilling Rain booster pack. We're gonna open them up. We're not gonna show you everyone that's open, just the ones that we get cool Pokemon cards from. And you're, you know, if you don't like Pokemon, sorry, you're gonna I'm going to show you anyways. These are all the hits we got from those two booster packs. And I'm going to be honest with you. Ashley pulled a Snorlax Golden, man. If you don't know anything about Pokemon and stuff, that's, that's a pretty big one. And she was really hoping to get that card out of this pack. So she's super happy. And I pulled a couple cool Vs and a, and a V Max. So all in all, pretty good packs. We're all happy. <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome back. We're here with Trent, the modern day Viking, and the Storm Chasers. Look at this. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the tent now, and the old body armor tent's holding up real good. This storm hitting the tent pretty hard. Wind noise is there, but no worries, man. So, $900 rooftop tent. I still stand by this purchase. It's awesome. <laughs> Feels like it's better freaking back there Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on red Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's better freaking back there Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on red We spent a day driving around, exploring a little bit Got the camp spot all cleaned up We actually forgot to record all of that Good job, Ashley Terrible camera performance Anyways, 
So we're in the room here. We're on the fourth story. So we're pretty high up. Got an early check-in. Come check out this view real quick. Come on, come on. Let's go, come on, come on. Come on. MTV Cribs, check this out. Ooh. Almost went out, boys. Check this out. It is raining. It just turned down for me. Feel it. Oh, you can't feel it because you're on the camera, but it's warm rain. Somebody's out in the water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're at tonight and for the next nine days. Pretty awesome. And guess what else? Guess what else? Since Ashley pulled... Ashley almost tripped. Since Ashley pulled that golden Snorlax last night on the Pokemon, we went out and bought... What was it? 36 times 2 amount of Pokemon. So do the quick math. That's like 72 Pokemon packs, isn't it? <laughs> 74. So... We're going to be doing some more opening night, and I'll show you uh, if we get anything cool again. Let's go, boys. And this is our view in the morning. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning, and our room's right along with the sunrise. Pretty awesome. Guys, so we're driving across this brand new bridge that opened up at Outer Banks. I don't know the name of it, but it just opened up yesterday. So this might be the first Overland Tacoma to set foot or set tire on this bridge right now. Overland Tacoma, bridge on Tacoma style, Tacoma bridge stuff. <laughs> it's a pretty bridge. It's about uh, three miles long and they were working on it last year when we were up here, but they're only halfway done. We drove by uh, about three days ago and it was still closed and it just opened up yesterday. Can you see how long it is from here? I don't know if you can see over that railing. It's pretty cool. Although we just missed all of our, our beach exits. I think they're all over there. <laughs> Aren't they? Well, I might look back on the way. Go out on the beach again. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to take your Tacoma on a beach. rock about 35 pounds of them so we're gonna go down 15 pounds and that should be plenty uh, to get us out on the beach and not worry about us thinking at all so I'm gonna air these down give me one second
So we're not at the beach here. Just so you know, you don't want to go too far down deep in there. But um, so we're gonna leave here. This is where it starts getting a little rough. So I gotta kind of get on the old yoder here and kind of send it. This sand's pretty soft. I'm gonna. <laughs> you don't want to get stuck in that. Also, turn traction control off. I just did not, and it, it, if you don't turn it off, you're gonna be fighting with it, and it's annoying. That's why we stopped there for a little bit. If you heard that, engine kind of cut out because traction control was like, why are we slipping? Well, we're in sand, Toyota. So yeah, the TRD Sport versus the sand. And I think the TRD Sport won. In West Virginia and I'm just out here looking scout for different camping spots uh, I'll let you guys know when I find one but I figured I'd give you a little update since I've just been kind of doing a montage the whole way down here super pretty uh, the leaves are an awesome color right now so all in all I think it's gonna be an awesome trip I'll give you an update once I uh, find us a camp spot and really figure out where we're gonna camp and get things set up and then uh, I'll sit down and have an update uh, with a plan for this little video weekend getaway exploration trip I don't even know We found an awesome camp spot, dude. This is like my favorite spot I've found the entire year and some change. No, I think I've only been doing this for a year that I've been like overlanding. This is my top favorite spot, I think. And we have four more days and we're gonna keep switching up camp spots and try out different ones and really explore this state forest, national forest, excuse me. But yeah, got the tent all set up, pulled it down here. Actually, go ahead. Show the viewers our lovely backyard tonight. Show you guys the whole camp spot again. My dog's going crazy. Stone, get out of here. Call him. But yeah, this is where we're at. Pulled in down there. Awesome spot right next to the creek. Uh, what is this called, Ashley? Cheat Creek? The leaves are looking amazing. And all in all, it's going to be an awesome spot. We're going to go ahead and uh, make some dinner real quick. I'm making some soup. And uh, I'm going to get a fire going. My dog is going to run around. I'll keep you guys updated as the night progresses. Sonny, look. Son, look. Check out that soup, huh? Give me another rest. Mmm, look at that. Got the fire going pretty well over there. Kinda. Wood's a little wet. But hopefully it stays going. We just finished up eating. Uh, what we had was like beef stew, vegetable soup. It was really good. Uh, I didn't talk about the weather here last time, but it's like gonna be like 31 degrees tonight. Fahrenheit, pretty chilly. It's been rainy and cold, so it's actually really cold here. So a nice pot of soup was actually a fantastic meal for tonight's dinner. Got the fire going. That was a pain. The wood we picked up once we got here was pretty wet. So that was pretty annoying to get, but it seems to be going now. We're getting warm and dry. And I'm going to try this beer I picked up. 
uh, Yards Pale Ale IPA Philadelphia. I'm gonna try it, see what I think. Pretty good, pretty hoppy. Got a lot of IPA going on in that. It's pretty IPA. I'm not an IPA drinker really, but uh, tastes pretty good. What do you rate it? Um, seven out of ten. No, six out of ten. Six point two out of ten. <laughs> Yards, pale ale. I have a few more different ones we're gonna try. Probably not tonight though. Maybe another one tonight, but not all of them tonight. We still have four nights or three nights. Finished that one. Now I'm on to the next one from the Yards Brewing Company. This one is called just an IPA, and it's a uh, Indian Pale Ale. Can't really see. It's dark. <laughs> it is their signature. I'll be the judge of that. All right. Seven percent alcohol. Smells smelly. Hmm. Now I like this one more than the last one. Seven point two out of ten. It's a pretty good one. It's a sipper though. Don't chug this. the next one I got here this is a level up tropical same company yards another IPA we're gonna give this one a try I'm kind of excited about this one I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera but it looks awesome well see what this tastes like smell smelly mmm I think this one might be my favorite actually, and I thought it would be. Just because the, the can looks cool. I don't know, I like the red one too. I'm gonna give this one a 7.1 out of 10. It's a good one. Good morning, guys. We just uh, woke up. It's about 8 o'clock right now. And I'm going to tell you what. It was cold last night. The inside of the tent got some good condensation on the inside, so we're going to hopefully dry that out a little bit. We're not going to stay in this spot again today because we have this whole forest to explore, so we're going to be leaving today and heading out and checking some stuff out. I did bring the mountain bikes this time. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're going to go ahead and try to find these cool mountain biking trails a local shop was talking to us about. Now while we were at that local shop, it was a bike shop, I picked up one of these maps for this location, uh, Dolly Sods and Seneca Rocks. Now there's two maps for this forest. Um, this is one, I wanna go check out Seneca Rocks, so I wanted this map. Pick this one up, so we're gonna use this to hopefully try to navigate a little bit better, because there's no service in these uh, national forests. So and that's what we're doing today. We're gonna be driving around. Looking for a different camp spot for tonight. Even though this one's awesome, I like to switch it up. We can always come back here if we can't find a spot. But we're gonna get some breakfast cooked up. We're gonna try something different this time for breakfast. It was Ashley's idea, not mine. So, uh, and we're gonna get stuff packed up. Let's go. So this is what we're doing for breakfast today. We're doing biscuits and gravy and one of these like uh, dry, freeze dried meals. We haven't tried these before. So it's biscuits and gravy. And I'm pretty excited, so I've got the water boiling right now. Let's hop into this and see what it tastes like. I'm cold. I got a new coat. Well, old coat, but I got a new one on because I'm cold. We got it all cooked up here. That's what it looks like. Looks like a little bit of throw up. Actually, tastes pretty good, though. It was quick. Just boil the water, five minutes, zip it up. Bada boom, bing, bing, bop. Bada bing, bada boom, you know. It's done. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and eat this up. I don't 
in the humor of the truck running, but we're done here. We just ate breakfast. I got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tent away. Make sure I got all the garbage. We're pretty sure all the garbage is already in the bag, but I'll do one last little lap around after I put the tent away. And then we're off. I'm gonna take a look at that purple lizard map to see where we're gonna go. I think we're either gonna head straight to Seneca Rocks or maybe try to find a state park here so Ashley can shower. She likes to shower every day. It makes it hard on these camping trips. Not every day, but you know. So might look for a place to shower. Gonna look for a place to drop the garbage off. And then uh, kind of just travel around. I don't know if we're gonna get on the bikes today or tomorrow. Kind of just depends where we end up. But I'll to get this place cleaned up. See you in a couple minutes. Tonight, it got cold, and you're gonna see our experience. This was the coldest night we had in the tent. Just got back on a little bike ride here. Check this out. They have a public bike wash station and a little area to fix up your bike, pump up your tires. That's pretty cool. We don't have this in PA. Really nice that they have this free public uh, for use. We just made it to this cool spot. Check out this. We might hike a little bit around here. I don't know, I gotta find a trail that's good enough for Ashley and the dog, so it's not too hard. It's called Seneca Rocks in West Virginia. Pretty awesome spot, look at that. There's actually people at the top of the rocks, if you can see that. We left the cool rocks. We didn't go hiking. Ashley was uh, a little scared, you know. But we were hungry, so we drove, took a little right there, and uh, found this close restaurant to it. It's called uh, Gateway. I was a little nervous. I thought it was gonna be like a little shitty, you know, family restaurant. Dude, 10 out of 10, like home cooked meal, like your grandma made it, like Southern comfort food. Like, I can't, it just, everything was homemade, and you could, it, it was really good. It was super clean, 10 out of 10 spot. Show the sign. Now we're going to head left up here, head into the mountains a little bit more. We're gonna find a camp spot for tonight and I'm trying to get us up on top of a mountain somewhere with a cool lookout. 
Don't know if it's gonna happen. Might have to end up pulling out the map and taking a look, see what we can find. There's a place called Bald, what was it, Bald Knob? Bald Knob that somebody mentioned in the forum I'm in. And uh, he said it's a cool camping spot. I can't find it anywhere. It might be on my purple lizard map. I don't know, I gotta like look specifically for it. But that's where we're up to now, I'm trying to find a camp spot for tonight. I'll see you soon. Check out that view, West Virginia. You guys gotta come here if you haven't already. It's pretty amazing. That was the highest point in West Virginia. We just checked it out. Really awesome views. It's super cold up there. Uh, now we're trying to look for a camping spot. It's about 5.40 right now. It gets dark about 6.37. So kind of in a hurry, but not that much, only because it doesn't really matter. We can put up the tent and stuff at nighttime. No big deal. Look at that sunset. Gorgeous. So that's the plan right now is try to find a cool spot. I don't know how lucky we're gonna get, but as long as we have a spot, I'll be happy. So we're on this uh, back road here. I don't even know. Um, we're in the national forest currently. So I'm gonna be looking for a spot, checking my maps, see what we can find. Hopefully we got a cool spot to show you. We made it to the new camp spot tonight. I like it. Nice open area. We got some tree covered. I like where the fireplace pit area is at. So big fan of this. There's a creek right over there. It's actually really clean and pretty. I'll probably take some pictures and video of it, show you guys that. We can listen to that all night. I like this spot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tent now and get everything set up. We might skip dinner tonight only because we had that really good meal at the Gateway restaurant. I had to get this open. One last look at the camp spot tonight. I'm probably gonna put the camera away here. It's getting kind of cold and just killing the battery. I'm gonna take some cool pictures and stuff, but uh, for now, I'm probably gonna put the camera away. Might pull it back out, maybe the iPhone, if I'm gonna try one of those different beers. But uh, for now, I'll see you later. Got another beer here to try, another IPA. From the same company, this is the Yards Brewing Company. I think it's a PA-based company, don't quote me on that. But this one is called the Filthy. Uh, spelled with a PH like Philadelphia. I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what's going on here. Can't see to open it up. It's a little cold. Look at this. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah. It's just a little cold out. Huh. This one's actually pretty good too. Uh, I put it up there, so I, I was thinking about it, and the yellow one I tried, the the Indian Pale Ale, or I don't even remember the name of that one, but the yellow one, the gold one, I think is my favorite. This one's up there. Um, seven, eight, seven point eight. So 10. that's higher than the other one. Yeah. Well, it's a, it should be whatever the gold one was. What was that seven point two? I think so. Yeah. Seven point two. Whatever the gold one was. Uh, this is what this one is. It's pretty good. Look at the frost on the truck. It's up there in the tent too. It uh, was a pretty cold night last night. This frost all over the ground here. Definitely uh, probably one of the coldest nights we spent in the tent this time around. I'm gonna get the truck started so we can get warmed up here and uh, probably make some breakfast. So as I was saying, pretty cold so we're sitting in the truck getting warm here 
put a movie on watching a chick skin a deer. This is supposed to be a scary movie. Look at those leaves fall. This is what we're doing. I gotta let the tent warm up a little bit and get the frozen frost off and the condensation out of the inside. So we're just kind of waiting. Probably gonna make breakfast pretty soon. Sausage and eggs for breakfast. Starting to get some uh, sunlight on this tent here, so hoping we can uh, get packed up pretty soon and go explore a little bit more. Don't know if we're gonna stay another night just because Ashley was so cold last night. Um, so we might head home today. We're gonna check the weather once we have service to see uh, what we wanna do. So we found this trail on the map, the purple lizard map. There's little purple lizards that mark uh, points of interest. So they could be a cool overlook, a cool trail, anything, a cool camp spot. Um, it's just like a little surprise. We found one that was close to where we camped last night and on the way out. So we're gonna stop here and it's on a trail. So we're following these blue dots up this mountain to see what we can see. <laughs> Boo, you have a camera on your back. <laughs> okay, no, go turn around. Boo. <laughs> uh. So we went back about two and a half miles. I don't know what the purple lizard means, but I didn't see anything that was like, whoa, I'm glad I walked back here. The trail keeps going, but it it, it goes far in. The purple lizard was like right off the, like the road, the trailhead almost. So I don't know what we saw, what we didn't see, but I didn't see anything that was like, whoa, maybe, maybe the little pond area in the creek. I don't know. We're going to head back. Small little mistake on my end. We went up the trail looking for something and this was off the trail. So we were on top of this and we didn't see it. So we came down back to the truck and I just decided to look over the bridge and I saw this cool cutout here. We're gonna try to make it on the other side. Everyone knows to roll. Eight point four. Put on the table. <laughs> we just had that awesome pizza. Now we're going to uh, look for a camp spot tonight. I think we're gonna go loop around to that creek where we stayed at originally. Um, the one spot is about like an hour and 30 minutes from us right now so i don't really want to put up the tent at night so we're gonna go loop around that creek and see if we can find, find a spot like we did the first night hopefully we can find one um if not you know maybe hopefully even the, the same one we were in the first night's open if not uh, i'm sure we can figure something out uh, but we'll see what we can do Get him, Get 
stone. The stones get pissed. We made it to the old spot we were at the first night. Um, it started getting dark, so I was like, you know, I just want to go to a spot that I know I like. So we came back to this spot. It was actually still available. It is Sunday, so I kind of expected it. So we came back to this spot, set the tent up. We're going to have to get the fire started real quick. Still looks pretty. It's a little bit warmer than yesterday. We were freezing yesterday. We thought about going home, but we decided we like it here. We went and had that pizza, put everybody in a good mood. So we're going to stay another night, freeze our asses off for another night, and just enjoy it camping. So we're going to start the fire here and chill out. Listen, guys, this is a big deal. Got the other beer here that I have not tried yet. And now this beer is a clown shoe. Clown shoes space cake double ipa this thing is nine percent it's probably gonna knock me on my ass plus it's a pounder so i mean i i don't know taste test here we go i'm a little nervous for this one double ipa nine percent give it a smell smells like it's gonna kick my ass Ooh, there's a lot of flavors going on in that one. <laughs> this one's definitely a sipper. You're not going to want to chug this. Uh, a lot of flavors. 6.1 out of 10 on this one. Not that good, but I'm not. It's a double IPA, so it's pretty hefty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then uh, I just opened up the window. This is a view out of the window. We're like right on the water. Pretty awesome. Stone's face after he gets a really good treat treat. Huh? That's what your face looks like. You get all excited and you start smiling. Camp spot's all cleaned up. That was the last night we're going to be camping here tonight. Pretty depressed, but we're gonna head home. Uh, but first, we're gonna head back to that little town, Davis, grab some coffee. And I noticed on the maps there, there are a couple purple lizards on some close trails. So we're gonna do a little bit of hiking before we leave and head back home. So that's where we're heading, to coffee. Right, Ash? Yep. To coffee, let's go. Okay, so we stopped at the coffee shop there on the Davis Main Street. Um, stopped there. I don't really order coffee, so I just copied whatever Ashley got. 
and um, we're gonna try it. I'm, I'm not a coffee guy, so let's see what I, what I can rate this. Very sweet. It's all right. A little thick for my liking, but it's okay. Uh, Ford, I don't know, really have to rate it, so I'm gonna give it like a six. Six out of 10 on a coffee scale. I don't know how to rate coffee. Wow, you never normally take no, two I drinks. Pretty good. You might like it a lot. All right, I'm the coffee expert, so. <laughs> oh, wow. Obviously not as good as Duncan. What? No, not as good as Duncan. Uh, um, but it's definitely like a solid like nine. Okay. Yeah. I just wish that it wasn't like that weird caramel. You know what I'm trying to say? No. Like, I don't know. Duncan has like a different type of caramel, I guess. Or like a fake one. No, it's better than this real then. Stone. Stone. Stop it. So now we're gonna go see if we can find one of those hiking trails. Danger's our middle name. That don't mean nothing to us. Well, we got down here at the bottom. There's a waterfall. Super pretty. It's actually really crazy down here. But now, we got the hike back up. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Probably gonna be carrying a dog the whole way. Stone, ready for a hike? Let's go. We're on Lindy Rock Trail right now. We've been driving along the Cannon, Cannon Loop Road. Just exploring a little bit more before we head home. I kinda don't wanna leave. PA is not anywhere impressive compared to this. I can't wait to continue and check out other states and see what else they have to offer. I mean, we just scratched the surface of West, West Virginia and I love it. But let's go see what this is gonna show us. We're on a canyon loop road here, and uh, this is a 4x4 high clearance trail. We're going to check it out here in the truck to see what it is. Kind of deep. Hopefully there's a place to turn around here if we have to. I just want to check it out. This is the closest uh, 4x4 trail that I found.
Okay, we rub a little bit. We rub a little bit, so we're gonna do some more trimming. Unfortunately, we are back in Pennsylvania now. We're about 42 minutes from the house. It was a pretty good drive. Does he have a stop sign? Yeah, it does. It was a pretty good drive on the way up here. If you can uh, drive like I can, I'm fantastic at it apparently. So, almost home. I'm gonna get everything in, unpacked, do a proper outro to this video. It might. This video might end up being a complete mess with how choppy everything is, but I think it should flow all right together. What do you think, Ash? Yeah. Well, that didn't sound very confident on your end, huh? Bunch of windmills behind me, again, because we're back in PA along that whole thing of windmills, but we're gonna go ahead and drive home now, and uh, I'll see you when we get there. We're out here camping and I finally got the diesel heater ready and set up. I tested it to make sure it works before we hop in tonight. It's gonna to be about 29, 30 degrees, maybe colder because we're right next to a creek and a river. So it might be colder tonight, but got the diesel heater hooked up. I'll bring you guys a little bit closer to show you what we're doing to heat and power that. But I just wanna show you guys this is where we're camping tonight. And you know, we're just gonna do a little camping, overland, chill adventure video. Check out this view. If you watched my last video, you would have saw that my EB3A from Blue Eddy, now if you don't know what that is, that's another power unit, it didn't provide enough juice from the DC outlet for my diesel heater. Now it should have, but that's a different story. You can go watch that video for some details about that. But I went to Harbor Freight real quick because this camping trip was like planned out and we had like one day to get everything ready. But so I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up this Jackery 290. It was about after tax and everything it was about two hundred and ninety dollars so you know two ninety two ninety you get like um it's a dollar per watt hour basically is what it comes out to which isn't terrible i guess but this actually does power my diesel heater and you know i can actually use this so now we can camp and have a good time and i'm going to show you guys how long this diesel heater will last on this jackery 290 how long the fuel lasts how warm it keeps our tent tonight because it's going to be like i said about 19 30 about 29 degrees i don't know it's going to be weird because it says it's going to be 30 degrees but we're right next to the water so it's going to be colder because i'm already frozen this is the current setup i'm going to show you a little bit in, more in depth of what's going on here with this diesel heater so like i said before this is the jackery 290 got it from harbor freight pretty awesome i didn't have to wait for any uh shipping or anything i could just get that they had it in stock so that kind of saved this camping trip because it's too cold to camp with the equipment we have so this is the vevor diesel heater i didn't show it very much in depth in the last video so i will hear what happened with this so it's a little bit wonky it's a cheap amazon chinese unit so you're gonna see some issues first one was it's a cheap exhaust a little goofy i kind of like it it's kind of funny but i couldn't get it bent enough to fit through there and it was like sitting on the exhaust not really good so i made these cheap wooden bracket things to lift it up higher that seems to work i'm a little bit concerned about having this this close to my tailgate i'm worried about it melting i'm gonna keep an eye on it i might have to set it on the ground but i'm thinking it should be okay we're gonna keep an eye on it and then i got this extendable dryer hose from amazon to duck that up into the tent like so the window is open right now, but we're gonna close that. I just wanted to air it out a little bit. It's been a minute since we opened it. So yeah, this is cheap. I think it was like $10 on Amazon. And it's cool because it claps down. If you kind of folds in on itself, 
So that's awesome, and it does move through there. This the fan, and this is pretty strong. What else? It did come with a little remote. I haven't tried using it yet. I might use it. That way we can adjust the temperature up in the tent, and I don't have to come down here. I'm a little bit worried about this being out in the weather, in the elements, but I think it'll be okay. For the Jackery, I think I'm going to throw it in one of my totes and make sure it's not wet or anything. Also, check out this new hatchet I got. I think it's a Gerber. We're going to be cutting some wood here and checking out this. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. It's got a saw into the handle, a little hand saw. Super sweet. I just got the diesel heater up and running. It's getting warmed up now. It just started to snow. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it is snowing a good bit. And it's pretty cool. I've got a fire going. I'll keep you guys updated on this and let you guys know if it's actually gonna work or not. It's a little bit dark right now, but I just wanted to give you a little update. So I have this down on high one, and that seems to be plenty to keep the tent warm up there. It's getting pretty hot up there. And then I have the Jackery in this box to keep it out of the weather. I don't know how guys are running this on the outside of their truck. I don't know if they're not worried about it getting wet or if these are waterproof to some degree. I think I might move it underneath the truck to keep it out of the weather because I don't trust this controller. Let me know in the comments if these are waterproof or if you have one or what's going on with that. I'm just curious for my own curiosity there. And then in here is the Jackery. I'll show you what kind of power we're looking at. Go for power. See if I can show you. We're at 8 watts, 14 watts. So about, let's say, average of 10 watts and 94%. It's been running for, I don't know, 45 minutes, I think. And it seems to be doing great so far. Can't wait to sleep in this and see how it goes. I'm gonna head off to bed, guys. I did a little goofy thing here. Grab my flashlight. Just to keep that controller dry, I uh, put a tote lid on top of that with a piece of wood on it to keep everything somewhat dry because I don't know how waterproof that is. I wouldn't, I don't know. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you think that's waterproof or if you have one and can verify. I just don't want to ruin it on the first night out. So I'm going to head out to bed and uh, let you guys know how this is going to work. Like I said, the Jackery is about at 94% right now. The fuel is basically completely full. One small update before I head to bed here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it inside of the tent, but you know, this is what it looks like. There's my feet. You know, my dog's somewhere over there. That's Ashley. But... I have the ducking coming up right there, kind of coming up toward her face. And it is actually really warm. I mean, usually if we're in the tent and it's this cold out, I would see my breath. I don't see it at all. I'm actually taking layers off currently. Usually I'm in my winter coat when I'm sleeping up here. But uh, right now I'm uh, in a t-shirt and my jeans. And I'm, the jeans might come off tonight. I think I'm feeling a little crazy. I will... Uh, talk to you guys in the morning another update inside the tent here that's kind of where the vents at like I said we're still on one you see there's really no snow it's actually water because this is so warm but on the inside not a drop of condensation and that was the biggest problem with us camping in the cold was it would just get completely soaked in here but now because this is dry air coming out of this vent it is just dry as ever and I love it we actually opened up the top window there because it's actually getting pretty hot in here good morning guys we just woke up got situated out here it did snow a good bit looks very pretty actually but I'm gonna show you guys how that battery did the diesel heater stayed on all night last night we actually had the window on or window open that is this little system seemed to keep the diesel heater dry like I said, I don't know if it needed to be, but there's that. So let's see how this Jackery's doing after a night of running. <laughs> so a night of running at, let's see here. A night of running at one, we have 55% battery left. 
So that is very impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and I think we're done out of tent. I'm gonna get this stuff put away because we're gonna get ready to do breakfast. So I need a little space to cook. I'm gonna start a fire. And we used uh, barely a quarter tank of gas. We're running that all night long. Very impressive. Good morning again, guys. I got the camera out now, I'm off the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and get a fire started to keep us warm. We're gonna make some breakfast, kind of hang out. I think we're gonna leave today because, you know, Ashley wants to leave today. So I'm gonna figure out how to dry that tent out, but I'm gonna get a fire going to keep us warm, get this wood chopped up, and you guys can come with me. Uh, I f***ed up guys. I got my drone stuck in a tree above a river. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> Well, we got the drone back. Looks like we broke one propeller there. I'll have to check and make sure none of the other ones are cracked. I didn't catch it when it came down, so it landed face first. Man, every time I use this thing, I'm always annoyed by it. So the problem was, right, I got a new phone and I can't connect to run video on it with the new phone. It's super laggy. So I used my old phone but I'm not signed into the account on my old phone. So it limited me on height. So I was trying to film and I was had to get really low. Like I normally like, like be up in the air with it. So I was like limited like 95 feet in the air. And I caught that tree branch. That sucks. Gotta grab some water.
we made it to the campsite. I just wanna explore a little bit here before I start setting stuff up. Pretty awesome view. Just about a two, maybe just a minute walk from the campsite. Really windy though, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Here we are at the campsite. There's a picnic table here, a little fire pit. I'm gonna start unloading this wood we just picked up, making some room, and I'm gonna open up the tent. I'll take you guys a little bit with me, but my hands get cold, so I like to get stuff done as fast as possible. If you watched my last video when I was talking about this rooftop tent and how a bolt came out, this is what I was talking about. Um, so just that knot came off the bolt here, and that holds this post. I just gotta put it back on. I have the knot right here, but like I said, just make sure you keep everything nice and tight. A lot of people won't show you this, but when you rock a Tacoma, they're pretty small. So when you come on these trips, you got the blankets and the pillows and the stuff and the cameras and stuff. Your back seat ends up looking like this. In the future, I might be getting rid of my back seat entirely and doing a, uh, a goose gear setup. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those. They're pretty neat. And I just need the extra storage because I really don't use my back seat other than holding stuff that ends up looking like a mess anyways. So that's what the inside of Tacoma looks like when you're camping and overlanding. Got the tent opened up. I'm only going to run two stakes in it this time because I don't want it to get wet. So I'm just going to put two stakes in it right there. And then we have a tarp. I might tarp it just so it stays as dry as possible because it's supposed to snow tonight. I don't feel like getting it back out to dry it off. So I think that might be the play. It won't look too aesthetic, but it, it functions. Super cool sunset looking out. Really pink. I'm gonna finish this tent up though. Same way as before, we're using the Vevor diesel heater to keep us warm in the tent. Honestly, one of the best ways to camp in the winter. Now you can spend the money on a good sleeping bag, but you know, last time we slept on, in this, I was in uh, my boxers and extremely comfortable. So pretty cool if you wanna sleep in your boxers when it's 20 degrees out. And then if you're curious, I'll just go ahead and let you guys know again. I know I showed this a few other times, but if you're new here, I use the Jackery 290 to power the diesel heater and it runs it all night. Last time I ran it for 12 hours, I had 55% battery left. So probably about two days you can run this at night and be able to power the diesel heater. So that's very awesome. Just got this at Harbor Freight, so not nothing crazy but it works and i just put it in that tote with it sealed because i don't know how waterproof this is well now that the tent is all set up and we are good to go there my sleeping area is good to go ashley finished that set up there i'm gonna go ahead and uh start the fire start chopping up some wood for this fire i got a new mic system so i can be really far away from the camera and you should hear me fine pretty neat let me know if you like this new mic because i'm on the fence about it but it's awesome because we're up in the mountains and the wind's pretty high. So I'm hoping the wind noise, you can't even hear it. And I can just talk normal and I don't have to yell anymore. So that's kind of a learning curve for me because I was yelling really loud before. I'm gonna grab my uh, hatchet. I don't even know if we're gonna have to chop any of this up because it's pretty small. Ash, do you think we're gonna have to chop any? I don't think we're gonna have to chop any of this up, which is a shame because I really like using this. That sucks. <laughs> okay, do you guys prefer this camping style content or are you guys more into the truck stuff? Or like, you just guys like watching whatever I make? Cause I like to make stuff that you want to watch. I like to go camping, so I just like bring you guys with me. But if you guys want more truck stuff, I can focus more on that. Just let me know in the comments. All right guys, and with no help from any lighter fluid, we have fire. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this uh, definitely does not look like an aesthetic Overland solution, but it's a tarp from Walmart and you know, I hurried up and put it on, it was snowing, but it should keep the tent dry so I don't have to deal with putting it away wet. And you know, it's not a perfect solution, but it should, I mean, it should work. I'd rather do with a wet tarp than a wet tent. I just uh, went ahead and hooked it on to the little hooks that already exist. Hopefully it doesn't blow off, but it's kind of funny looking. It's kind of hard to show you guys because it's, it's, you know, it's dark out, but I figured I'd let you guys know that it is uh, really snowing out. Get a little closer to the fire, you can actually see. Pretty neat. This is the first, like, you know, big snow we've been in where it snowed longer than five minutes. You know, I wasn't even thinking I could just turn the flash on to really, you know, show you guys how much it's snowing. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Not many people you see out here camping. And, you know, the good thing about camping in the wintertime, there's no bugs. Are you recording me? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start up the diesel heater get that tent warmed up so to start that I have the Jackery in here and I can't see I can pull it out I really need to invest in a GoPro I fired that up there hit the DC button on the Jackery I'm gonna put it back in the box to keep it water tight push under the tent to keep it even more watertight and then it looks a little goofy I know but I haven't figured out if the diesel heater is waterproof yet so this is kind of my solution for that give me one second I need both my hands I just fired up the heater here let's uh, get this thing fired up nothing's happening yet it's going through the preheat cycle right now it is snowing pretty good out Ashley's having a blast Look at her really awesome pink shoes she decided to wear in the winter because they work well. Her feet definitely aren't cold, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> if you're curious, this is kind of what it sounds like as it's coming up. You can hear that pump in there, pumping the diesel through. Hear that? The fan's starting to kick up. Things are starting to happen. It takes a little while to get going, but about a minute, two minutes, that preheat cycle's ready to go and it starts pumping that fuel. And that's kind of what the symbols look like when it's uh, working correctly. These things are a little bit uh, hard to understand. A lot of the directions are, you know, it's from China, so not very user friendly. But surprisingly, last time I fired this thing up, it was just puff and smoke. I didn't pre-check um, the pumps to get that, so maybe I didn't like flood it. Maybe last time I flooded it, because there's not much smoke coming out of this. Last time it was just shooting smoke everywhere. We'll let this uh, get warmed up and get that tent warmed up because it is snowing pretty good. I was here goofing around with Ashley, messing around with the diesel heater. I got it fired up and then it randomly shut off. If you see that red light in the box there, that means that the jackery is connected to it. Well, that red light went off and then the power immediately cut off to my diesel heater, which is very not good for diesel heaters because it'll, it'll with the fuel and the burn and you know I don't know I'm not a mechanical guy but basically it's not good for it so that happened I went to go fire it back up and then I had a flame out air meaning that the flame went out and it wasn't burning so I was a little nervous because it's still snowing I'm cold I'm, I'm starting to shake a little bit and uh, so I got nervous fired it back up it seems to be running good now I'm hoping I can turn down the fan now to put it on one and it'll hopefully continue running. But I hope we uh, aren't stranded out here with no heat because that's probably not good. Got the diesel heater working again. No more flame out airs. Everything seems to be good. So we won't freeze tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started. I know it looks like it's like 12 o'clock at night, but it's only about eight and it gets dark here around, I don't know, 536. So, you know. PA, you gotta love it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. I got a little spot cleaned off on the picnic table since I got everything set up here. I'm gonna make some kind of chicken. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Some chicken wrap, we'll see. So this is kind of my kitchen setup right now. 
uh, don't sleep on a headlamp because it's dark as you can tell and a headlamp is really the only way that you can see what you're doing in a situation like this so headlamp for the win I'm gonna go ahead get some chicken cut up I'm, you know me I'm gonna make some ramen noodles because that's that's my that's my stuff and I'm just gonna cook you guys can uh, sit there I, I would love to give you some but you're not here you're, you're not crazy enough to be out here in the winter freezing your ass off this is that gym meal this is just a, a chicken spicy chicken ranch wrap low calorie wrap high protein pretty easy going my ramen's cooking up this is for ash here we are in the tent now getting ready to pack it up for the night i got dinner cleaned up it was pretty good my ramen was great and then we uh, sat by the fire for a little bit had a few beers but uh yeah if you guys missed the last video that i did in the tent this is where the heat comes in at you know it's not perfect but you know it's plenty good enough the heat comes out fills the tent up you know i don't think i need to explain how that works but pretty awesome setup we're gonna tuck it in i'll talk to you guys in the morning and uh say good night to ashley and the dog night guys good morning guys It's very bright out here. I'm just on the phone right now, so it might look bad, but just woke up, got out here, it's very cold. Took me to look at the diesel heater, check this out. Diesel heater's been running for a while now. I started this up about eight o'clock last night and it's 11 now. And we're just about out of fuel, so I'm gonna top that off. But we stayed very warm last night. I actually only had this on level two all night and it did fine. But I'm gonna top this off so it doesn't run out. And for anybody curious, I figured I'd show how the Jackery is doing. So this has been running from eight until 11 in the morning. Uh, and uh, we got 30% left and it's drawing about 15 watts. Well, between 10 and 15 watts of power on average. That's running on level two. So did very good last night. And the tarp kept the tent dry. The snow last night was just ripping off of it. And there's literally no snow just from the heat on the inside of the tent. So that works awesome. Just getting ready to get this tent all folded up. I just gotta fold it, but I just wanted to show you guys my dog. Look at this dude. He's got the diesel heater in his blanket. He's just chilling. There's that memory phone I was telling you about. That memory phone there. Super nice to sleep on. So if you have a rooftop tent, highly recommend you run a setup like that. Not gonna brag here guys, but uh, we're doing pretty well. I was able to cook with eggs this morning. That's pretty impressive in today's market, huh? <laughs> Breakfast is done. Some eggs, cheese, sausage, you know, the normal stuff. I'm gonna probably throw mine in a burrito, but this is for Ash. We're eating inside the truck, cause it's cold out here. No fire. That is a good looking burrito, dude. Look at that. It's kind of maximum capacity, but I'm gonna go tear this up. Breakfast is done. Now it's time to do the worst part and clean up. I'm uh, gonna boil some water here, just so I have it warm, so I can do some dishes. I don't really have to do them that well, cause I'm just gonna go home after this, but I'll do them up a little bit, get some of it cleaned up. Make sure I got all my stuff picked up, load up the truck, and then we're gonna head that way because I've never been that way before and goes deeper into the forest so I'm going to check that out a little bit I'm going to get this cleaned up I'll be back the campsite is cleaned up now I shouldn't have to say this I don't want to treat you guys like kids but you pack in pack out you know keep it clean but we're going to go head out do some more adventuring today see what we can find let's go pretty high up here huh
So the Augusta Trail goes higher here. There was a fork. I didn't record. That was a me bad. But uh, it goes higher on the right. So we've been going up even higher to see uh, where this goes. Pretty awesome view on the left there. Pretty sketchy. Not really, but truck's doing fine. This is some light snow. Probably about three inches, if that. Looks like we made it to the peak up here. We got the dog out. I uh, just kind of threw the truck on the side there. I want to go check out this overlook, but I didn't want to stop because there's not much room in case somebody else wanted to come up here. I'll walk down here and show you guys the view. Pretty wild. Oh, this is the view, guys. I'm gonna keep going up this hill, but this is pretty crazy. It's freezing up here, though. Looks awesome. It doesn't, the camera doesn't do any justice. I don't even know if you can hear me over the wind. It's cold. I got curious, so I, uh, I'm out of breath, sorry guys. But I hiked up this little hill here. It's a lot steeper than it looks. And I uh, came to the peak of the hill. You see the other side. Whew. It's cold. I'm out of here. Guys, we're heading back home now. Back down the hill, we're gonna head home, get packed up, did some cool exploring, got a good hike on, checked some stuff out, so I think I'm pretty happy with this adventure. We're gonna head home and hopefully not put this in the ditch on the way back. I'll uh, see you when I'm there for a little bit of a modern day Viking outro that is typical for me. See you in a few minutes. Hey guys, we're out here in West Virginia doing a typical Tacoma Overland video. I'm gonna test out all the new stuff that I got on the truck. So we're gonna be out here for, I think three days, exploring, doing some mountain biking. We actually just got back to the truck from a mountain bike trip. Check these clips out right here, that. Made it here to Davis, West Virginia. We're gonna be going on a little bit of a mountain bike ride. Get it in here while the weather is still good. Check this merch out. Check the merch, come on. Hey guys, I probably should have brought the GoPro. I, I have it with me, I just left it in the truck. I'm never thinking ahead like this. So now it's about six o'clock, we're gonna head out, look for a camp spot for tonight. I don't know how far it's gonna be. It's really nice out, so I hope we can actually get a good spot. I don't know, we're gonna be looking around. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Let's hop into this one. the campsite guys right along the river time to put up everything on the truck I'm gonna do a little time lapse to show you guys everything that's on the truck now it is got a lot going on man look at that <laughs> kitchen area all set up here. I'm going to start cooking. I'm going to try to record as much as I can. Look at my dog. Nice view of the river here. We're going to get some cooking going on. Pretty awesome setup though. Thank you. 
Alright guys, dinner's all done. I cleaned it all up. I forgot to record all of it. Not a big deal. We sat by the fire for a little while. I had a few beers and I'm going to head to bed. I will talk to you guys in the morning. We'll continue this adventure. Good night. Morning guys. Just woke up here. I want to show you the view we got to wake up to though. I just washed my face all up here. My dog's going a little bit crazy. I thought about making breakfast, but I'm feeling a little lazy, so I kind of just want to go out and explore a little bit, and I don't know what he's doing, and kind of check out some more stuff, do a little bit more mountain biking, so I think we're just going to do that, get everything cleaned up here and head out. I want to show you guys the shower awning, though. So over here, this is the shower awning from, I think, Kick-Ass. Yeah, Kick-Ass. This thing has been a game changer for Ashley, so she can change and use the bathroom and just kind of have a nice little private area. So if you have a lady that you take with you, definitely a game changer for her. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. Time for my little coffee. Boom, tropical mango. That's how a bad thing happened. I've been using this Bouge RV 1500, Fort 1500, for a few weeks now testing it out they just sent it to me i wanted to make sure it was good to go i've been using it to power the fridge the wee boost and i have solar input going in it's been staying pretty well well i don't know what just happened i don't know if the fridge shorted out the wee boost something messed up and it went from 83 percent to zero i don't know why I, i'm i'm quite shocked but uh yeah i don't know if there's a problem with the product i mean i everything was being used correctly it wasn't like I was using it the wrong way it was sitting stationary it wasn't like it was back here bouncing around so not looking too good for this but that's why I always have my trusty Jackery 290 it's down there I'm just gonna have to run that I guess I guess that's uh, why Jackery has the market on these systems because uh, it's the only one I can run that works and doesn't have issues Everything is packed up. We are going to head out. Going to check the map here, see where we can go, see what kind of hiking trails or biking trails we can find. Take you guys with us, like always. Doing a little bit of exploring here. We found this trail. Trying to hike up the top of it. See what's going on. I'm out of shape though, so I breathe heavy going up hills. We made it to the top, guys. This view is pretty insane. It's actually making my knees a little bit weak up here. Oof. Time to hike back down and go get some food because I am hungry. Look how small that looks. It doesn't even look that big, but I'm telling you, it is crazy up here. Crazy. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few. It started to rain right when we got off the mountain, so we uh, came here and got some pizza. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. Pizza's done. We're going to head home now. Rain's going to be until Tuesday now. The weather changed. It sucks. We're just going to head home. We're going to camp tonight. I was going to leave tomorrow, but I don't feel like setting up the camp in the rain and then having to take it down in the rain, and it's just unenjoyable all around, so we're just going to head out. I started in Pennsylvania, went down in the mountains of West Virginia. Then I spent a few nights in Virginia in this beautiful campsite on top of the mountains. From there, I drove down south into North Carolina where I spent four days on a remote island living in my Tacoma right on the beach. It was amazing. I wanted to show you guys this experience. Let's hop into this. It's official. We're living out of my Toyota Tacoma. But listen, this is kind of like a two-week test. 
kind of. We don't own anything, so it's not like we have to go back to anything. Everything we own is in this truck right now. But we're testing this out, making sure everything's good to go. You guys are gonna come with me. Should be a crazy adventure. I'm gonna try to document this. It's a little stressful because we're gonna be testing out this setup on such a long distance trip and basically gonna be the rest of our lives for about a year and a half now. So it's a little stressful learning how to do this, learning how to navigate. Coming up here, we got lost a little bit. We made it to North Carolina. It's been, uh, well, it's been about 10 hours-ish, maybe 11, maybe 12. It's been a lot of time. Long day on my end. What happened was we were gonna drive down to Croatan National Forest. We got in North Carolina about an hour away, and I just happened up to do some research. I was looking for where I wanted to camp tonight, and I was doing some research, and I was reading some reviews and some past comments saying people were being robbed at gunpoint, Hunters were setting booby traps on a road, giving people flat tires. It was all trashed. So I decided to uh, maybe not do that. And we found a different location. And this is pretty nice. I didn't like this spot because it cost money. I tried to not find spots that cost money, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Not much, $12. It's safer. I don't have to be worried about being robbed at gunpoint. And you know, it's a little bit further away from the ferry where we had planned, but this is good for now and I'm Glad to have the tent set up and get some sleep tonight. Hi, what are you doing? Cooking some breakfast. We got the dog. <laughs> it's raining. It's like a rainforest right now. As always, guys, we're running into some issues. So I don't know if I explained this before, but my bike already broke. So we got to a nice spot where I would want to ride my bike and it's broken. Bike shop, uh, local, didn't have the part. And then she was trying to mess with my bike and get the old part that broke off. And she ended up stripping out the screw. So that's pretty annoying so I got a broken bike that's even more broken now that I got to fix then the Bouge RV power station we woke up and it was completely drained again went from 100 to zero in less than eight hours and it shouldn't because it was only 50 watts so that sucks luckily I ran to the bathroom down there plugged it in got charged back up about 50 percent just so we have some power to keep the fridge and the food good and charge my laptop for work that's good. I have a solution though. I think we're gonna Harbor Freight and get one of those cheap generators just to have a backup power source for situations like this. If that uh, power station isn't gonna be strong enough and reliable for us, that's the solution for that. Tent's doing good, nice and dry. It's also raining really bad and the bugs are terrible. But we're still having a good time. All right guys, I just got back from Harbor Freight. The Bouge RV was at 0% again when I woke up this morning. We can't have that. It has to speed charge. I can't speed charge it off the truck. It takes about two and a half hours to charge that up. So I, I pulled the review down. I can't run the review on that. I can't back that product. So here I am. This is my backup power source now. This is the Predator 1400 from Harbor Freight. About $500 this cost me. And you know what they say, gasoline is a lot more reliable than uh, apparently solar in these battery boxes. Well, the, the generator runs. I just, I've never started one before, guys, so got it started. A little bit louder than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest with you. Problem solved, the Predator 1400 can charge up my Bouge RV battery box that seemingly likes to kill itself from 100% to zero in eight hours running 50 watts. Pretty awesome there. But this little generator costs $500. I guess this is gonna be my backup. If we don't have solar power, and I need power to charge my laptops and run basically everything in the truck, like the fridge. So this is probably gonna end up being a lifesaver. 
pretty happy I got this. I'll keep you guys updated if, uh, you know, kind of like a long running review, if this is gonna break on me or not, because I have a bad habit of breaking things, I guess. Right, like down the road from our uh, camp spot. <laughs> uh huh. Packed up camp here, guys. Went for a nice seven-mile bike ride. Took the dog to the beach there. Pretty awesome campsite here. I'm not a big fan of state parks just because you usually have to pay. I like those free sites, but this is a really nice one to be honest with you. So Goose Creek, if you're uh, into state parks and that kind of stuff, definitely put it on the map if you're in North Carolina area. I, I, I like this park. We're gonna head out now. We're in about a two hour drive to the ferry to get us out on the island. Let's hop into it. to the beach we're gonna find a camp spot tonight but look at this view huh that's pretty awesome we're gonna go up to the lighthouse we just drove the whole way down that strip of island we're gonna check out the lighthouse and i'm gonna go find a campsite for tonight I don't know where we're gonna camp. I gotta find a place for good service so we can, you know, I can work during the week. camp all set up here i hope you guys can hear me over the wind it's pretty loud i'm sorry but check out this view i don't even know if you guys can see it we are right on the ocean I, i'm hyped we're gonna be here for a couple days now maybe five i think roughly something like that maybe until we run out of food i don't know but you're gonna see me shirtless for the next five days and we're gonna be living out here out of my toyota tacoma on the beach i'm hyped let's start making some dinner Well guys, just got done editing up a YouTube video for I think Monday, I don't know. I'm gonna head to bed now. I got the generator running or I had it running to power up my battery box, keep the fridge running tonight, and uh, just shut that off. I'm gonna head to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, we just woke up, we got attacked by bugs, I mean these gnats, they're called no see -ums. they destroyed us, I'll show you my legs, but they, it, it's bad. I, I just wanted to run in the ocean and hide from these bugs. They seem to be uh, slowly going away, I don't know how we can fix that, they don't care about bug spray, I don't care about my candle thing, they don't care about any kind of things I have to get bugs away. That was brutal man. We're going to hang out here today, I'm going to try to get some stuff edited, it's Sunday, 
chill out, have a good day. Cooking up some breakfast right now. I'm gonna do eggs, sausage, and some toast. Hopefully the wind ain't too loud. I don't know when this video is gonna end, when I should cut it off. Look at that guy. Look at that, they're hauling. Ashley wants to take a shower real quick, so I got the shower set up. So I figured I would show you guys our little bathroom set up here on the beach while we're camping in my Overland Tacoma. I'll show you, well, I guess while we're living out of my Overland Tacoma. I'm gonna show you our shower setup. Let's check this out, it's pretty sweet. Right here is the kick-ass shower awning. I have it staked down. I have some weights on it that I carry to do some gym stuff while I'm out here. But this is kind of like a shower awning and you can change in here. It works all right, but I have a little portable toilet and yes, I do use it. I just used it this morning. Works very well. Disposable bag to get rid of them pretty easily. And then you can come in here like this. You can hold a toilet paper, hold some other stuff. This is the shower. It's just kind of a hose right now, but it's a shower. And this is hooked up to the water port that's on the roof rack. It holds uh, eight gallons of pressurized water, which is black. It's a black container up there so it can uh, get hot with the sun. And then I can also put this down like this, and this is how I access my fridge while the bathroom is open. Kind of annoying to go through your bathroom to get to your kitchen, but it works all right. And that's kind of uh, the whole bathroom setup. This zips down here, so it's not annoying. And there it is. Usually it's not blowing around as bad. And then it works out real good because we keep our clothes in this 23-0 rugged case. So you can just reach up through the bathroom when you want to shower, grab your clean clothes, and take a shower and clean up a little bit. It's not the perfect setup, but it works good for what I'm trying to do. We're gonna head to bed now. It's been an awesome day hanging out by the ocean. I'm gonna head to bed before the bugs come out and tear me up because that's just, it's not gonna be a good time. I'm gonna shut the generator off. I just have it running here to uh, charge up the Bouge RV power station to run the fridge forever because it's not 100% until it kills itself again. It should be all right. I'm gonna head to bed now, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Woke up to a beautiful sunrise. No bugs this morning. It was a great morning, actually. Super sunny out today. I'm getting a quick workout in. Pretty awesome. I have to work today. It is Monday, but uh, I have a pretty good view to work from. It should be a pretty all right day. I don't know when I'm going to end this video. Probably when we get off the boat or off the island. So probably tonight I'll end the video for this section of the journey. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit a like button, hit a subscribe button. It means a ton to me. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Like I said, very windy. Hope you are enjoying this kind of content. It's hard to film because not only am I trying to film, but I'm trying to live out of this truck and I have to do everything. So I have to like get everything set up. This is a lot of setup and a lot of time. The day goes by like that. It's crazy. Hope you guys are liking it. Though. Last night on the island is done, guys. I will see you later in the next episode or whenever. I will see you later. Good night.
We are out on another adventure here, continuing our living out of the truck adventure, I guess. We're headed back up north in the PA here. We're in Allegheny National Forest. We're gonna travel up further north into the Niagara Falls area. I've never seen it. I'm pretty hyped to see it actually. From the Niagara Falls area, I'm gonna check out a couple more state parks up in New York State. Some cool stuff I've been wanting to check out from my whole life, never I made it up there. So it should be pretty awesome. I'm gonna bring you guys with me as always. But for now, we're gonna be hanging out here for a couple days and having a chill overland adventure like the old days. Let's hop into this. I gotta make some food. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, the great value chips are next level. If you're out here spending seven, five dollars, I don't even know how much chips cost. I think they're between five and seven dollars on a bag of Doritos. You you got some serious money. You you're making it. Because I'll tell you what, these dollar chips are pretty banging. Good night guys, I will see you in the morning. Good morning guys, we just woke up here. I'm gonna get a quick bike ride in. The trail is like right there. All kinds of trails around here. So I'm gonna get a quick bike ride in, take you guys with me, show you what I can show you. I don't know if I'm gonna put the GoPro on because it's a lot of work, but I'm gonna go for a nice bike ride. This is only an hour away, well, an hour and a half-ish from where I grew up. I've never been out here. This is like some of the best mountain bike trails I've ever been on. I cannot believe this is the first time I'm here. This is awesome. It's always the ride back to get you. There's Ashley on her e-bike. I'm dying. I had to be at work in like 20 minutes trying to make it up this big hill. <sighs> just got back to the truck guys it was about a six and a half mile bike ride and the whole last part of it was uphill wasn't bad though we did pretty good i'm getting my cardio back in that's nothing for me nowadays so awesome i gotta sign in the work though i gotta sign in i did want to show you guys we're making some good solar right now for this foldable panel here is awesome I use it to make sure I have power all day long and I don't end up using anything out of this Blue Eddy here. I don't recommend buying a Blue Eddy. This, it, it's ass, but it, it works for what I'm using it for, I guess. Back on the bike here, guys, after some lunch, taking my little lunch break from work to go out and explore, bike a little bit more. We're looking for this overlook somewhere along this path. These bike trails are amazing. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here and ride this. So now I'm gonna hang out, chill out for the rest of the night here. I'm gonna get a fire going in case you wanna make some hot dogs. We just had that amazing Chinese food that I made on the grill there uh, for lunch. But we're pretty full still, so I don't think we're gonna do dinner. If we do, we're just gonna cook some hot dogs on the fire again. Don't need no mac and cheese or anything like that. But the idea is we're gonna leave here early in the morning, about 4.30 in the morning, we're gonna pack up camp. We're gonna continue our journey up north, head up into New York, check out Niagara Falls. Super excited to do that, never checked it out before. Pretty excited. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, as always. I'm gonna get this fire going. I'm gonna get a little bit of stuff picked up here so I don't have to pick it all up at 4.30 in the morning. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, means a ton to me. Let's hop into the next part here. It's been a great day. I'm gonna head off to bed now. Up here on this little mountain we're on, it is the quietest place I've ever camped at. I'll let you guys listen for a second. It is so quiet. There's no birds, there's no bugs, there's no chirpies, there's no wind. It is just eerie, quiet, super kind of weird. Listen to this. It is 4.30 in the morning. We're packing up camp here. 
I'm gonna try to hurry up. A little bit chilly. A little bit spooky out here in the middle of the woods. It's quiet, spooky, it's weird. I'm gonna head out. These rock lights though are a game changer for things just like this. Camp is packed up, took about 30 minutes, well, to pack up my house. We're off to go see Niagara Falls. All right, guys, well, here we are in the wild, wild wilderness of a state park. Unfortunately, up towards Niagara Falls, there's not too many secluded spots that you can find. So this is what we got to deal with for two days. And then we're going to travel to a more secluded spot that we always wanted to check out. We're going to continue this journey. This isn't my camping style, but it's going to make do. Like I told you guys before, we are living out of this. So coming to a site like this that has showers, a little bit of electric, does make it a little bit easier than being out in the woods all the time, even though I don't really enjoy all the people around. Burger night, about to whip it up. Well guys, just finished up dinner there and cleaning up. I'm gonna edit up some pictures from today. And head to bed, man. It's been a busy day and I'm exhausted. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is a work day today. I'm not gonna be doing too much. Might take a little lunch break or for a bike ride, but other than that, it's gonna be hanging out, working in this nice, pretty spot. The weather was nice enough this morning. I was able to see Toronto across the lake. So that was pretty neat. I'm gonna cook up some breakfast here and hang out. So guys, I just had a pretty traumatic experience. Ashley and I went on a 10 mile bike ride one way to get some food. The food wasn't good. That's a different story. But anyways, on the way back, 10 miles, Ashley was pulling me to make it a little bit faster because it's getting dark. She got a flat in her e-bike, a big nail, went right through the tire of it, right through the tube. It's a 75 pound e-bike, so you can't really push it with a flat because it's going to bend the rim. It was in the back. It's got a motor back there. It was going to destroy the back end of the truck, or destroy the back end of the bike. Anyways. I flagged some random guy down. Shout out to Joe. If you ever need towing done, my boy Joe does this up in here in New York. He'll tow. Here's his information right here. Awesome guy. Stop. Helped me out. Fixed Ashley's bike. He had some fix it flat. Pumped it back up for me. And now we're back on the road pedaling to the campsite. I'm tired. Shout out to my boy Joe. You're a homie. Made it back to the campsite, guys. And at least I made it back to the awesome view, huh? Check that out. Good morning, guys. I'm packing up camp. We're gonna head to Green Lake State Park. It's supposed to be some pretty awesome water to look at. Excited, hopefully the rain stays away. It might be pretty bad. That's happened today. It's Friday. I still gotta work, last day of work. So we're gonna try to get there before work starts. This whole work thing kind of puts a damper on how you plan your day. Camp is all packed up, we're back on the road. It does feel good to be back on the road. Got about a three hour drive here. It's gonna be a haul. 
Hope the weather stays good. I'll keep you guys updated on any cool sights we see along the way. Apparently someone was wanted. There he goes. Hey guys, we just made it to our next camp spot here. There's a hiking trail right behind it. We're hiking this blue lake. Can't wait to see it. That's the whole reason why we came. All the way out here is to see this blue lake. I hope it's worth the hike and the drive. We made it down the lake, guys. There's another little portion that's a little bit more secluded than this, but look how blue this is. It's pretty insane. We hiked, saw the Green Lakes, really beautiful. We're gonna open up camp here pretty soon. But guys, I gotta tell you what, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of these campgrounds like this, where it's like people are packed. I gotta be quiet because they're right over there. So we're probably gonna boogie out a little bit early. This isn't my type of camping. I'm tired of it. So we're gonna go leave and get back to our dispersed camping in National Forest because this is not my style. Also guys, we had a Another bike mishap on the way from the blue water. My hanger here snapped from there. I just replaced that on my last adventure video. You can check it out somewhere up here down in North Carolina. That broke and then it broke again. But good news is tomorrow my brand new e-bike is coming in the mail. So we might end up just leaving New York, going to get my new bike, calling it a quits here because there's too many people and the campsites are too compact, not really our style. We saw what we wanted to see. This sucks though. <laughs> so no more biking the rest of this trip. We just got done eating, checked out a restaurant up there because I wasn't gonna cook and it's been a day. We're leaving, it's raining, my bike's broken. The campground or campsite that we had was super compact, full of kids, full of loud music and it's just, it's not a good experience. So it's the weekend and I don't feel like dealing with that. That's not my, not my style. So we're gonna head home, pretty long drive ahead of me and I'm in the wrong lane right now. We rode in this camp spot really late last night about 10, 9.30 p.m. Here's a clip of that right here, it was stressful. So we're down here in West Virginia. We just drove basically all day. It was a whole, it was a whole thing. I'll talk to you guys about my day later. But right now it is uh, about nine o'clock at night. We still don't have a camp spot. We're down here looking. We're in uh, Mahongalia or whatever. <laughs> Mo, Mo uh, I don't even know how to say it. Mo, uh, Mohongalila <laughs> National Forest, whatever. Mahongalila. And we're looking for a camp spot. I'll let you guys know <laughs> when we find one. Look how nice this dirt road is though, huh? We just found a spot. It's almost 10 o'clock at night, basically right off the road. I'm not very picky though, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna set the tent up and go to bed. <laughs> it's been a long day. I wanted to show you how I have the fan mounted right there. It just kind of hangs up there. It is a game changer. When it's just a little bit hot out, it cools you right down, it gets that air moving in the tent and sick. There's a nasty storm rolling. I kind of want to show you guys what I'm looking at through the top of the tent. The goal on this trip is gonna be about a month long. We're in West Virginia right now. We just came down from PA. We're gonna hang out here. I wanna go down from here to New River Gorge, then down into North Carolina and Virginia. I wanna hang out near Asheville and Pisgah National Forest. Then from there, I'm gonna to go to the middle of North Carolina to Yuhari, I think that's how you say it, National Forest. Then we're gonna to go to the beaches of Outer Banks where Ashley and I are actually gonna be getting married. I'm gonna bring you guys with me as much as I can. I don't know when I'm gonna break this video up and do a part two, a part one, I don't know. It's probably gonna end up happening a month is a long time. Let's hop into this. I'm hungry, I want breakfast, let's go. On the breakfast menu today is going to be one of these adventure meals. We're gonna split this. I'm gonna do some scrambled eggs as well. I'm gonna put it on top of the scrambled eggs. I think that'll be a move. 
I'm still using this green thing, even though I have the propane tank hooked up there. Only because I want to use these. I have like three of them left. I might as well use them. They take up too much space. But this propane tank is a move. It holds five times as much as one of those, and I can refill it. And it's not just trash. Let's get to cooking. I'm hyped. This right here is amazing. I didn't think it was gonna mix very good because of that mountain hatch meal. Last time we had this, we just ate the mountain hatch meal. This time we mixed with it. some eggs and some cheese. Oh man, look at that, so good. Mm -hmm. Just got the camp spot all cleaned up there. Looks pretty good. I didn't leave anything, you know how I am. Pack it in, pack it out. But I wanna tell you guys this story about why it's been taking us so long to get back out on the road and be living out of this truck. So last month and a half or so we've been you know basically living in our parents front yards the first reason was ashley's parents were going to colorado we had to watch the dog so we did that then i had to go to my parents house because my bumper was getting shipped and my suspension was there so we were going to install my suspension you can check that video out right here we got the suspension on the guys from relentless uh, fabrication said my bumper is going to be there and then it got delayed and as you guys probably can tell there's no bumper on the front of my truck so we decided to stop waiting and leave we had to go help Ashley's parents one more time Ashley put the floor or we put the floor in Ashley mostly I was working they redid the flooring in their bedroom Ashley did most of that I was working and then uh, I was getting ready to hit the road that Monday well I find my Wii boost is broken and the power cable is messed up okay whatever I order a new power cable from WeBoost, there was a back order on that. I found another random place that was selling it and I overnighted it. Got the new power cable, did not fix the issue. So I call WeBoost, I get an RMA, so they're sending me a brand new WeBoost out, but it's back ordered. So I'm still stuck waiting and I wanna go out and adventure. We go to Best Buy, I uh, get a new WeBoost, plug it in and it doesn't work with the old power cable. So. What is happening is I'm not getting junk power cables. The old WeBoost box is actually burning the power cables out. So I went and bought a brand new WeBoost. The Overland shares the same box as the Drive Reach. So I just use that box. Cool. I run the cables back to the new WeBoost. No issue there. It's uh, about 10.30 at night when I'm running these cables. I'm holding my phone as a flashlight. I then drop the phone. It bangs off the battery box, the seat delete, my rock sliders and then lands face first onto the rocks and I break my phone. Awesome. So now I go, if you know anything about switching your phones, it sucks. So I had to go get a new phone. Yesterday we did this, got a whole new phone, handled the whole process, had to re-download all the maps for this trip we're doing right now. It has been a hassle, but I just wanted to show you guys, that's kind of why we are stuck, not traveling as much, but we're still living out of the truck, but now we're actually traveling and experiencing it. It has been a process. Sorry, that was a long story, but I wanted to catch you guys up on my life. If you don't know this little trick here, what I like to do when we're out on the road because I want to set up the shower is I just kind of sneak into state parks, take a shower, and boogie out. It's a trick of the trade, and sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. It works every time. We just explored the New River Gorge there, took some cool pictures, it looks awesome. We we're camping pretty close to it. This is a national park, so there's a lot of people, not our type of camping, but it'll do for the night and then we're gonna hit the road again. Tonight is taco night. 
very excited because I'm hungry. As you guys know, we do the dispersed camping, and I thought this was a dispersed campground, and it is. It's free, primitive camping, but it's right up everyone's butthole. You know, like, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's what we actually don't like. So, future reference if you're coming here, basically what we, I can tell, all the campgrounds around New River Gorge in this, um, what is it called, National Park, are like this. So a little heads up, uh, if you don't mind camping like this, I know a lot of people don't, that's fine. I'm more of a guy that likes to go out in the woods and not see anybody for 29 miles. Exactly 29 miles. Got done eating tacos guys, decided to get the bikes out, go for a little ride, we this little trail that goes down to the new river. This is doesn't look very new to me, it looks like an old river. <laughs> but pretty cool looking. Deep down here in the wood, we're gonna probably pack up pretty late tonight. Uh, pretty early in the morning, I guess, not late. And then head out because the next spot we have is about four hours from here. And I have to work at 11, so we gotta make sure we're in a spot so I can log on. So we'll be waking up probably about five in the morning. I'm just gonna go to bed early so I get my beauty sleep. Good night, guys. We got into the tent. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I don't know how much I'm going to talk to you tomorrow because I'm going to pack up and kind of be in a rush, but I will see you when I see you. Good night. Good morning, everybody. We are up and moving pretty early. I didn't wake up as early as I wanted to. Like I said, five. It's still dark out. I didn't want to shine my flashlight around and wake everybody else up. So I waited till the sun came up. We're rolling out now. It's about 7.30. Heading to North Carolina. I don't know where we're going. I have a rough idea. Uh, I did some research in some overland groups and I know this dirt road that has a bunch of camping along it. That's about all I know. So you're going to be seeing our first experience as we go there. It is outside of the mountains near uh, Asheville. So his got National Forest. I think that's how you say it. That's where we're heading to now. About a three and a half hour drive? No, four hour drive. Jeez. <laughs> 200 miles. Any kind of cool sights we see, I will be sure to make Ashley record them. I don't know if bamboo grows naturally here. I don't really think it does. I'm not a tree guy, but there's like two parts of this little area where we saw bamboo growing. Kind of neat. to Pisgah National Forest. We drove through Tennessee a little bit. It is a beautiful drive. I'm, I'm loving it up here. It's a little cloudy, a little stormy, but it's still really pretty. This is the Brown Mountain Overlook we're driving through. We're gonna go check out a state park real quick and then head up and try to find our camp spot for the night. mountain in Pisgah National Forest right now looking for a nice place to camp. We saw a few nice spots but um, we don't like them. We're gonna keep looking never take the first spot. Awesome views check this out. It's crazy. There's some people up here but it's Monday so we should have plenty of space plenty of room. Hey guys I didn't really get a chance to show you the camp spot here but this is the camp spot. There's Ashley. We're getting ready to make some cheeseburgers up. Got a good view. I'll show you guys a little bit better. But this is awesome. I love this. This is a good spot. Just got done eating cheeseburgers. Big mistake though. Uh, I didn't film any of that for YouTube because we were trying this new little thing about going live on TikTok and you know talking to you guys a little bit more in person. And then I forgot to record the cheeseburger stuff for this video. But yeah, we just ate cheeseburgers. Nice night tonight. Gonna clean up a little bit more and head to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Not a bad view to wake up to, huh? 
And here's the camp spot in the day I wanted to show you. Last night we kind of rolled in a little late, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a view of this. What do you think, Ash? Good spot? Mm-hmm. We're gonna be hanging out here for a few days. Today for breakfast, I'm gonna be cooking up basically the same thing I did yesterday, so some eggs. I'm gonna be putting this on top, this biscuit gravy stuff, I love this. And then I'm actually gonna use the bacon from last night. Last night we cooked bacon cheeseburgers. Like I said, didn't record it. We we're trying to TikTok live. So if you guys are interested in coming live and watching me cook live and hang out here in the truck, check out my TikTok. We're gonna try to do that if we have service. Last night we did on this mountain. I'm gonna start cooking some breakfast here. Then we're gonna go on a hike. I'm gonna show you guys some of this awesome view on this mountain. This does no justice to where we're at right now. Ashton and I decided to go on a bike ride here. This is an awesome view, not that far from the camp spot. I'm gonna show you guys this, this is awesome. North Carolina, baby. We're gonna go ahead and continue down the path here to see some more awesome views, check out some trails, to check out the area. Being up on top of this mountain is so crazy. I just can't believe that we can just camp up here. Well, after two years of exploring and doing this truck stuff and overlanding, this is the best view I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm blown away here in North Carolina. This is quite amazing. Well, I'm gonna head out here. I enjoyed the view. It's amazing. I'm gonna go home, get ready for some dinner, make some chicken, shrimp. I'll see you guys then. We got a nice bike ride on the way back. It's all uphill, so I'm probably gonna have a rough time because I'm out of shape. <laughs> Decided to continue on the bike ride here and head down to Linville Falls. I believe it's, that's how you say it. About six mile bike ride here. My battery's at 36%, so hopefully I have enough juice to make it home or I'll be pushing because I'm out of shape and this bike doesn't like to move with my legs. But we're gonna go check out the falls. Should be a pretty awesome view. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Apparently it's a big deal. So with us having e-bikes and not knowing where to lock them up, there's a lot of money here, so we feel weird about just locking them up random places. So we decided to do the whole loop and ride our bikes on the road to get to the visitor center, to get to the trail. But really close to our campsite is a trailhead that we might be able to hop off this trail and take that trail back to our camp closer and save a lot of time with our batteries or with my battery being almost dead it might save a lot of time because it'll be cutting like six miles off the trip we might do that i don't know oh if, we're doing it <laughs> i just don't know if we're going to be able to haul our bikes up that my bike's not a big deal it weighs like 42 pounds her I'll bike just put weighs mine 75 in one. i don't know we'll see we'll see what's going on i'll film it our dog's cranky because we're not moving really Got down here to the falls. I don't know if you can hear me, but pretty crazy, pretty awesome looking. Definitely worth the time. And we gotta figure out how to get out of here. So we're able to take the path that goes up to the trailhead that's closer to our campsite. The trail isn't that bad. So I'm gonna hike this. See you at the top. Just got back from the bike trip here. We're gonna make up some chicken, shrimp, and mashed potatoes and green beans. Nice view. I'm probably going to end this episode after I eat this, so I'll do a nice outro like I always do. But since we're going to be sitting in this spot for a while, I don't want to keep showing you guys what I'm eating. So I'm going to end this episode and fire up episode two when we hit the road again. We just got done eating dinner. It was fantastic. That shrimp chicken was a great mix. My dog's taking a crap over there in the weeds now. 
It's gonna be an awesome night, it's gonna be chilly. Hopefully we got enough blankets. We just got the camp packed up. If you're back from the other video that we just posted, we're leaving this area and gonna to continue to explore Pisgah National Forest while living out of my Tacoma full time. Let's hop into this. I'm super excited to see what Pisgah National Forest has in store for us today. made it here to Mount Mitchell, the highest point in North Carolina. We're gonna hike the trail, show you guys the view. It was an amazing drive up here on the, what was that called? Blue Ridge Parkway. Awesome. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. If you have a sports car or a bike, it'd be an amazing drive. And the Tacoma with about 700 pounds in the bed of it, not as enjoyable. <laughs> this is also the highest point east of the Mississippi. Fun fact. Back from the peak of Mount Mitchell, beautiful up there. I will say though, the peak doesn't offer as good as views, in my opinion, as the little outcrops on the side going up. Only because once you get to the top, you can only see so many tops of mountains. When you are on the way up, you see the sides of mountains and stuff. So if you're like really pressed for time, just enjoy the drive and enjoy the outcrops because this little part right here added about 40 minutes onto the trip. And I don't know if it was worth it, but I, I wanted to cross off my bucket list. So I had the time and I, I did it. So if you have the time, do it. But if you're rushed and feel like you're gonna miss something, don't feel bad. Now we're gonna head out and find a camp spot for tonight. About probably an hour and 30 minute drive-ish to a campsite. We're gonna camp a little bit closer to here, but there's a few reasons why I don't wanna do that. One, I still gotta work and upload to you guys. So I gotta make sure I have service. And I would hate to get down to the camp spot we're gonna go to that was 40 minutes away and if not have service, have to pack up again tomorrow for work, blah, blah, blah. So we're heading back to a place that I know I've service. It's an hour and 30 minutes away. And I'm gonna have to downshift a little bit so I don't use up all the brakes on the truck because uh, last time we were going down a really big hill in West Virginia, I was riding the brakes. They got pretty hot and started smoking. So we're not gonna let that happen this time. We found a spot, it's actually really busy up on this uh, forest service road. Found a spot here, tucked away. I'm really hoping the tent is kind of level. It's got a good view, but it is, um, it, it's it, it's in there. I had to do some finagling to get back off the road here. And uh, here's an edge of a rock. So I don't know how I'm supposed to cook out of this, but whatever. Ashley wants to camp here. And here's the view. Should be pretty epic in the morning. Got the tent all set up here. On this weird camp spot, it's definitely pushing the limits on what's acceptable for a camp spot. The Dobson suspension is putting in some overtime right now. If you look at the front of my truck and the side and the wheels, everything's kind of like this, but it all equals out to be pretty flat up here in the top of the tent, which is awesome. I didn't think it was gonna be flat up here. I didn't think we we're gonna be able to use this spot because of how sketchy it is, but it works. Got a good view I'll show you guys in the morning. I'll try to show you guys here tonight what it looks like, but I don't think uh, you're gonna be able to see anything. I guess you're a stony boy. A view of the city on top of a mountain. There's some kind of city. 
here's the camp spot we got to last night i'm gonna show you the view it's pretty awesome it was sketchy trying to get the truck there and level but it works i'll show you guys why it was sketchy it's like right on a rock this view is pretty worth it though as you can see this is the rock i had to back up to last night this is the only way i could get it flat i couldn't come this way so now trying to cook out of the truck and get in a deck system is going to be annoying but it's worth it for the view got the hammock set up here pretty perfect spot to set up a hammock if i say so myself gonna make a nice breakfast here pretty soon because we rolled into the spot so late last night we ended up not cooking and just going to bed pretty excited for the day pretty excited for the weekend gonna chill out here and record a little bit but we're gonna be here for a few days uh because if we leave this spot someone's gonna take it this weekend so we try not to leave spots on the weekend because it's hard to uh, find a spot to live on the weekend so let's get to making breakfast Check out this baby snake that was right underneath uh, Ashley's chair. Five minutes ago, she just said, I don't think there's snakes up here. Look at this little guy. Finish up with work for the day, guys. So weekend is now officially started. We're gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna be making up some beefy crunch burritos. If you know those things that you get from Taco Bell, it's like a burrito with Fritos in it and stuff. I'm gonna make one of those or make a bunch of them. Gonna be live on TikTok as always. So if you're interested in that, when this video comes out, we're gonna be going live about once or twice a day cooking out of the truck. So check out the TikTok. If you wanna see some live reactions and talk to us in real time, I'm gonna start cooking. Just finished up eating dinner guys got it all cleaned up i'm gonna sit here enjoy the night with the view i will see you guys probably sometime in the morning when we uh probably go on a bike ride or a hike i'd imagine we're gonna do something tomorrow crazy to see all the lights start coming on over there in that little city over across the hill as the sun goes down, the lights come on. Kinda neat to watch. Funny thing just happened, guys. I'm out here just chilling, enjoying my Friday night and enjoying the view. I'm playing some Pokemon on my phone. I hear some footsteps running down the hill. I'm like, what's going on? A couple comes up and they have a blown radiator in their vehicle. So I get up there, I go to help. I'm a little sketched out because it's just kind of weird, but whatever. I go to help and they brought like a van all the way up here and this road's not terrible but like definitely four by four like nothing my truck can't handle not high clearance but definitely pretty rough so he brought this fan up here blew a hose off of it and i'm helping the kid out he's just a young kid he doesn't really know what's going on but i don't even know why you bring that up there but we we got the vehicle to stop overheating and i found out where the hose fell off the engine block and we put some more water into it so hopefully he's able to get out of here in the morning and not melt his engine funny thing just weird anyways i'm gonna enjoy the rest of the night and play some more pokemon sorry for the bad camera quality but i'm going to bed i did want to show you guys these rock lights again and how i use them for my camping because it just lights up everything and i think everybody that's into this kind of overlanding stuff should probably have some rock lights check this out Good morning guys, I just had to clean the solar panel off on top of the truck because it was pretty dusty and wasn't really working too well. Clean that off and I'm going to hang out. I'm going to go for a bike ride today, try to find a hike or something near here. Just enjoy Saturday. Enjoy the view, hang out with Ashley. Just chill. Got to another little hike here with a great view. I love it here.
off the bed, guys. I will see you in the morning. In the morning, it'll be my birthday. So wish me a birthday in the comments, even though it'll be past my birthday when you see this video. And uh, the bed lights went off. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We're gonna be packing up our campsite today and heading out to Asheville. I'm gonna check out some breweries. Today's my birthday, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna try some different IPAs, see if I can find some better sours, because that's what I've been to right now. And then we're gonna find a better camp spot than this, which is gonna be hard. I'll uh, film what I can, guys. Just got done riding a little bit of Burn Park here on my birthday. Problem is, uh, they don't want e-bikes on there, and I left my helmet all the way up in PA. It's Sunday, no bike shops open, so I can't go buy a new one. But I just uh, rode my bike up, rode my bike down. I didn't want to be disrespectful with no helmet up there and um, with my e-bike. I would just shut it off anyways, but I just don't want to cause a scene. There's some other YouTubers up there that are um, bigger than me and I'm fans of, so I don't want to be uh, a bad influence on their page. So I'll just boogie back down here. That was the best pizza I've ever had. We've been in PA, New York, West Virginia, all over the place. And that was the best pizza in South North Carolina. That was the best pizza I've ever had. 10 out of 10, great pizza. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description to their Instagram. Get them up there. Now we're gonna chill out, get some AC on us. Cause it's about 102 here right now. And check out another brewery. We're gonna head up in the mountains to get our camp set back up. Just rolled into a camp spot, guys. Look at this view up here. Look at this. I don't even know if I can get it to focus. Look at that. I wanna set up the tent. It's gonna be a great night sleeping. I probably can't get a better spot than this if I uh, tried. Pretty happy. Good way to end the birthday day. And uh, end the night, I guess. Maybe gonna start a little fire chill out, listen to some music, drink a couple brews, and enjoy the rest of what's left today. That is a sunrise to wake up to with a view. Look at this. Wow. I don't think I showed you guys the newest addition to the truck. Check this out. Got this doing some crazy overlanding stuff. I was going up a mountain and it was just so crazy that it was just a big mountain and craziness. I'm joking. What actually happened was I was six hours into the trip. I don't remember if I told you guys this, but I was pretty tired. I was driving for six and a half hours. Missed a turn, I went to go back up and I was using my camera, my mirrors, nothing was in the way. And I just so happened to back in this guy's driveway at the right angle that I didn't see it and the corner of his metal mailbox hit right here and just went and took a giant chunk of my fender out and a little piece of my paint right there. So yeah, that's my uh, crazy overlanding story of how I got that scratch on my truck. I'm sad. Gonna hang out, sit down, and enjoy this breakfast. All right, guys, sorry it looks bad. I'm gonna head to bed though. Thanks for watching so far. Hit a like, hit a subscribe button, it means a ton to me. We have the AC in the winter tonight, it's gonna be hot. I'm already chilling. I will see you guys in the morning.
Hope you guys can hear me. I have the generator running. I got annoyed of dealing with the solar panel and the shade from the trees, so I just said I'll run the generator and get things charged up. I wanted to show you a little problem that happened with the Tacoma behind me. I gotta switch to the other camera. I think you guys are gonna think it's pretty funny. So if you see here, this is where you would normally put the oil into the Tacoma. I have a towel wrapped around it and zip tied because I popped the hood to pressurize the water on top of the truck with the air compressor here and realized I was missing the cap randomly. I don't know where it went. So I start getting really concerned because I have about 4,000 miles on this oil change. I haven't noticed the cap missing every other time I've popped the hood open to pressurize stuff. So I was very concerned, but I scheduled a oil change with the dealership because I can't really change my own oil when we're living out of the truck like this. So, and told them I'm missing the cap. I'll need a new cap. Okay. So Monday, today is Friday, Monday, we're going to get that done right here. Kind of chilling. Right. And I looked down into the skid plate. Uh, let's see if I can show you and uh, right there is the cap just sitting there. I don't know how or why or when that happened But apparently at some point the cap fell off and I again don't know how why um, But kind of weird. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. Maybe the rubber gasket is off very weird Let me know in the comments guys if you've ever had your cap fall off or you're off-roading because we've been on the trail now for about a week First, you're going to need to find a spot. Now I suggest going somewhere deep in the woods, usually national forest because it's free, and getting lost. You can try to find views that look like this. And then, that'll usually end you up on a road that kind of looks something like this. And once you find a road like this, you're on the right track. Once you find a spot that looks something like this in your rig is level, go ahead and set up your camp. And this is what it's going to look like once you have a camp set up. Pretty nice spot to hang out for the night. And I'm going to show you how to enjoy your night. Fun fact here, show you guys a little bit more of the overland camping experience. Give you a little advice. When you are doing your first overlanding or getting into this hobby, elevation plays a giant role. You can lose 10 to 20 degrees in temperature as you go up a mountain. I'm on top of a mountain right now. That's where I picked to do this video. And it's starting to snow a little bit. You can see a little bit. I'll try to show you. But it's starting to snow a little bit. I'm going to show you how I keep warm though. Overlanding 102 lesson for this video. How to stay warm on top of a mountain. As an overlander. There's other ways. But you got to do it the cool way. You got to be over the top. I'll show you how I do it. And this is how cool overlander bros heat their tents when it's cold out this is a chinese diesel here about 120 dollars on amazon you get one of these ducts you put it way up there put the exhaust away from the tent that should be okay a little bit nervous i'm sure somebody in the comments will say hey, the fumes go up blah 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 quite possible there's a heavy breeze coming around um so hopefully it's actually not an issue i'm gonna fire it up see where the smoke goes i'll be able to see if it's gonna go straight up and get caught up in there but I think we'll be all right. Usually back in the day, when I used this last year, I would end up just setting it right here on the tailgate and ducking up that way. And it was never an issue where the fumes went that way. So I think we'll be okay. And to explain a little bit more here. So these are kind of weird. The exhaust wasn't high enough where I bought this to fit. So I put on these like little wooden things, rigged it up a little bit there. As you can see right here, there's black things right here. That's a steel fire pit I take with me all the time. I'm not going to end up using it today because there's a fire pit here. But I put it down because I didn't want the exhaust to get too hot and catch any of this dead grass on fire. So that should be okay. I'll keep an eye on that too. Make sure the grass isn't getting hot. But, you know, a little precaution there. I don't want to burn anything down. Your next step over landing is going to be cleaning up the mess of some asshole. When you go out camping... You have to clean up your stuff. It's called pack in and pack out. It's very simple. Unfortunately, some people are just assholes and uh, that's how they treat camp spots and ruin it for everybody else. A few reasons why you don't want to do this. One, it looks bad. Two, it looks bad and it's rude. 
Three, if you throw food out and about, it's going to attract animals, bears and whatnot. Then the national forest people, I don't know the exact term for them, they'll come down and shut down camp spots, shut down roads because of safety concerns. Next thing you know, you have a whole road that's beautiful camping that you can no longer access anymore because bears are here. So don't do that. Don't be that guy. Clean up your stuff. So we can all enjoy stuff like this. It's very cold. We got view though, huh? Overlanding. You gotta just do it. Use a car. Use anything. You don't even need a rooftop tent. Just do it. Number three or number four, I don't even know what we are on right now. But on an overland adventure, you're gonna have to switch out your hat if you have a normal hat and it's cold. And that's what I just did. I feel a lot better. A lot of the heat escapes from the head, especially when you're bald. So this helps me. <laughs> Next important step is you're going to have to take some pictures, take some videos for social media to let everybody know you went out, you went camping, you do it, and you're about that life. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. You see that? How I'm getting the full side of the truck showing that I'm in the woods with a view and we're doing it. We are using the truck. Got to walk around the truck a little bit, show it off, show the chairs, let everybody know that you're about that life. Looping back to step three or four, whatever one, where I said put some more clothes on, where I went to this hat, I went back that step and I put a hoodie on underneath this because it's getting even colder out. So next up, I don't know what step I'm on. I'm just going to start saying next step or up next. I'm going to start a little fire because I'm cold. My hands are cold. I'm going to warm my hands up a little bit. And then that's where you're going to spend most of your time on your overland trip at night is sitting by the fire, especially when it's cold like this or in the tent sleeping. Next step here is you're going to want to start the fire. You're going to want to chop up some firewood. Me being the professional I am, forgot to record while I was chopping this up. I had a whole, you know, I was talking a whole episode here and I didn't hit record because I'm a professional guy. But I'm gonna chop a little bit more wood here. Wood is chopped. Let's get this started. If you're an overlander, you have to start fires very professionally with a rock and such. I'm not that guy. I'm gonna start fires a good old fashioned way, how God intended with lighter fluid. Maybe. Is my lighter broken? Like this, like an adult. <laughs> now that you have a nice fire going, you can warm those hands up that are cold, right? Don't make a too big fire. You don't want to be a, a guy who catches the woods on fire. So I just like to do little ones like this, just to warm me up a little bit. Next up, if you're going to be an overlander and you're going to be out here, you're going to have to cook dinner out here. Dinner of choice tonight, canned chili from Wendy's. It's a game changer, especially on these cold nights. Gonna hop over here to the kitchen and get cooking. Oh, there's the rain. Good guy, sorry. Snow, I guess. Oh. Um, can you go turn your hot spot on? This is Snowing. Hot spot. And this right here is an Overland dinner. Out at the back of the truck. Even the camp Overland <laughs> camp kitchen. Come on. It's what it's all about, really. This is raw. And this leads me into Overland rule number five, or step six, or whatever step. Guys, this is insane. Plan for the unexpected. May Quick. that be snow, or uh, rain, or whatever. <laughs> we got snow on the chair. And the fire is not super awesome. Step whatever is to get up here in the tent with your dog. Look at him. Here's the heater vent that comes up here. The diesel heater keeps us nice and warm. We are going to bed now. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It was a chilly night sleeping last night. But the heater down there kept us really warm. So that's going to push us into the next step of having an awesome overland adventure. And uh, that's going to be making some breakfast. Let's hop into that. Now that you ate breakfast and you got it all cleaned up, step whatever on your awesome overland adventure, you're gonna need to go out on an adventure. I'm gonna show you what that looks like.
That's how I spend most of my time, filling up the truck. sandwich after a hike that's the pros of living out of your truck you always have food thank you guys for watching this video i know my editing style is all over the place and the camera works all over the place as you can see i've gotten better over the years kind of but as always thank you for watching please hit that like button hit the subscribe button it means a ton to me we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we're almost there do me a big favor check this video out right here it's pretty good and i'll see you in the next one